Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a great Sunday morning. Thank you for joining me for Children's Moments. You're probably wondering where I'm standing. Looks kind of weird. I am outside. There is a low ceiling, it's wood. There's a strange feeder here with some food in it. Um, I'm actually standing in a chicken coop. You might have just seen one run behind me. I have four chickens that I got last year um, at the beginning of the pandemic. So when coronavirus started and I was at home all the time, I needed something to keep myself busy. So I got chickens because why not? They're actually kind of close by. So I'm going to go grab one to show you. Hang on one second. So this is Harriet. Harriet is a very sweet chicken. She lays an egg every single morning, so I can always count on Harriet to give me some breakfast when I wake up. Say hi, Harriet. She's wondering what in the world is going on. Okay, you can go find some bugs. So you're probably wondering, why are you talking about chickens, Mackin? Well, Jesus talks about chickens in the Bible. In Luke chapter 13, verse 34, Jesus talks about protecting his people like a mother hen protects her baby chicks. So when I first got chickens, I started doing research because I didn't know a lot about them. I didn't know what kind of food they ate. I didn't know what kind of shelter they needed. So I did research and I found out that when they were babies, I needed to keep them warm, but they didn't have a mother. I was their mother. So what I did was I had to get a lamp that created heat to keep them warm so that they would survive without a mother hen. If they had a mother, the mother would sit on the eggs for three weeks to keep them healthy until they hatched. This would allow the chicks time to develop inside of their eggs until they were ready to be born. After the chicks are born, the mother continues to sit on them for six weeks. That's a long time. When she's not sitting on them, if she's out walking around eating, she has them very close to her under her wings to keep them warm and to protect them from possible predators. So how does this connect to Jesus? A mother hen protects her babies, just like Jesus protects us. Jesus keeps us under his wings to make sure that we know we are loved by him, that we are protected and that he's always with us just like a mother hen does with her baby chicks. So let's pray. God, we thank you so much for this day. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for protecting us just as a mother hen does for her baby chicks. We are so thankful for your love each and every day. Please help us to know that you are always with us, that you hold us close, and that you always have us under your wings. It's in your son's name I pray, amen. Thank you guys and have a great day and a great week. See you later.